Creating your own custom pipes in Angular is fairly trivial. It basically involves a decorator with a bit of metadata and a known method signature on a class. We have seen pipes that transforms our strings into uppercase and lowercase. Now let's create a custom pipe that capitalizes just the first character of a string, just like the title case. Let's start by creating a new file for our pipe. We tell Angular that a given class is a pipe by applying the addPipe decorator, which we import from the addAngular slash core module bundle. The addPipe decorator allows us to define the pipe name that we'll use on our template expressions. Let's now give a name to our pipe using the addPipe decorator. Now let's go ahead and add a class to our pipe. We also want to import the pipe transform interface so we can make use of its transform method to transform the value that our pipe is used on. Again, it is also part of the Angular's core module bundle, so we just add it here next to pipe. Whenever we want to use an interface, we need to implement it on our class. So let's go ahead and implement the pipe transform interface on our class here. Now that we have imported pipe transform and implemented it on our class signature, now let's go ahead and use the transform method of the pipe transform interface that accepts an input value followed by optional parameters. Now, we want to grab the first character of the value and transform it to uppercase. And then, we want to append the rest of the string to it. We also have a conditional statement for our second parameter, which if true, should convert the entire string to uppercase. So let's go ahead and write the code for that. Let's take a moment to understand what we are doing here. So from the value, we are trying to grab the first character using the caret method of JavaScript. And then we are transforming it into uppercase. Next, we are making use of the slice method to get the rest of the string and attach it to the initial character. And for the second parameter, if it is true, then we want to transform the value to uppercase. And then we are returning the value back. Now that we have created our custom pipe, we need to add it to the declarations array of the app module in order to make it available throughout the module. So let's go ahead and do it. Now let's go to our app component and make use of the custom pipe that we have just created. Let's put everything in lowercase so we can test how our pipe works. Now let's use the interpolation syntax on our template so we can test our pipe. Over in the browser, we can see that the pipe works as expected. Now let's try to add the parameter that we have created for our pipe, which is for upper. Now if we say this is true, then we should notice that in the browser, the entire string is transformed into uppercase. 